Hi everybody, Mike Casaluccio here. Um, I was messing around collecting buildings at some of the different free markets and I have over the past week or so accumulated 1,464 elements. A lot of those I've been making, a lot of those I've been borrowing from other places, but something I found out that was pretty cool, um, if I go to my inventory and I type in building and I say, let's say large blue building. So I go over here, I'm going to drop a blue building here, and poof, this happens. So I'm looking at this, I'm trying to figure out what is this thing. And I remember in one of the malls, one of the markets, they had these pictures on the wall of buildings. And I added them to my inventory, and just it's a brick. But if you right-click it and open it, it expands to this and this large blue store building. And if I take that and drop that there, that's the building. So these little tiles are like compressed, like zip files. So, you know, somebody sends you uh, an attachment, an email, it's a zip file. Um, you have to open it. And then once you open it, then you can actually grab the element that's inside of it. And I wish I could edit this one. They all always seem to be buried under the ground for some reason. And voila, there's my large blue building. And actually, I think I'm going to keep that one. I like that one. And then I take my little brick and I put that away. Um, the other thing you can do is if you take the large blue building, drop it here, open it, and it expands, you can take this and say copy to inventory. So that way you don't have to go through this step again. But I just found that interesting that they're compressing these items in some of the stores. Um, I also found one of the boxes. It was a it was like a box of stuff. And in that box of stuff, um, when I opened it, it filled my inventory with like all kinds of um, outdoor furniture. And there was another box of like food and miscellaneous um, food and miscellaneous glassware. So I'm finding these different worlds that have stuff, and I'm finding different pictures in the primitives. Um, and I'm collecting all kinds of stuff, but the, the building one I thought was kind of neat because it didn't look like a building when I dropped it there from high above, and it turned out it wasn't. It was just the compressed building. So let me fly up a little bit. Um, I started building a few more items around my perimeter. And I got a copy of the school. Um, I think Sam is using a similar school. And I found a brownstone. And I just started copying them in a row. And I figured I'd make a nice little city block of brownstones. And I built a fence. And that will go into the next recording about the open area. Um, I created a fence that I then copied around this corner. And I'm going to use that as my... Um, my open space for people to mess around with and i'll get into that in the next little video so buildings around the perimeter um try not to make it too cluttered this building i think i'll move around a little bit more um and i still have plenty of open space oh another thing i did um that ore that i downloaded that our initial ore that we had um i got sick of it so i went through and i did a little demolition and I deleted most of the buildings, started making some open spaces. And I also deleted a lot of the trees and started attaching a little land bridge between the ore and the rest of my island um, to sort of blend the way that they're coming together. So um, my landing place is still up here by my little hut and my little um, little chairs and tables and uh, garden center. But I'm going to put some more buildings around this side over on this corner and allow um, other users to experiment and play around in there. So that's my buildings, and I'll talk to you in a few minutes about the open space and the shared space that I was making. Talk to you soon.